Hi Sharika. Um yeah. So the first question whereby they said you should create a student database and they ask you to create a table with five columns and five inputs. So we'll first create the table and to create a table in SQL we use this create table keyword. So this create table keyword after you write the create table keyword you can enter any um, table name you want any name you want to call your table so just like in your record they call the students we can call ours classroom anything you want then you put two brackets and a semicolon and within the brackets you can write the column name you can you can write the column name and uh, you write the data type that you want to use data type so our first column name will be roll number and the second and the data type we can give it varchar and uh, give it the value of 10 and you put a comma at the end then the next one is, we can call it name varchar 20 at the end comma and the third one um, age vacha mm, no let's call age number let's give it the data type of number and we can give it three and no cost vacha um, twenty yes address vacha 13 yeah so when we run this program when we press this run button it will in the sql statement output it will tell us that a table has been created if you notice here the wrote a table has been created but this table has been created but there are no values in this table so to insert values in this table we can use the insert into statement so this insert into statement you can use it to insert the values you want to insert in the classroom yeah so insert into classroom it's better i use student so that it will since on your in your book the student you won't get lost I mean, student yeah so insert into student and values of uh, the road number i can give it zero zero one the name of the student i put it within apostrophes I can put your name, uh, age, you can put 12 years old, uh, course, I can put MCOM, and address, I can put Bangalore. So, in the question, they said we should create five of them. So, I will copy this because I'm lazy to type again and paste five times and you can also do the same thing copying and pasting but make sure to change the ID number the roll number so I'll change it to three two 
and also I can change the names inside I can put innocent Lisa Moana Jimmy Neutron Neutron no, I'm just with Jimmy Jimmy Neutron is too long Jimmy Neutron 15 Moana 11 is uh, Dan Ino 9 can change every single thing every Then when I run, the table will be created. So you can see that one row has been inserted. So it means a data has been inserted into the table. So to display the table, and okay, the next question here is display all the columns in the table. So to display everything in the table, we can use select, then asterisk, which we select every element in the table um, from students. So I can run this, and I'll get my table. I don't know why this duplicated, but it also appear once. Yeah, so you can see in the table. Yeah, roll number. Okay, here, roll number one, name Sharika, age twelve, cause Mcom, bank law address, uh, innocent nine blah 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 so that's it about the table then the later said the next question is to display only four elements only four columns so to display four columns you can use the the same select element. Let me remove this one. I'll remove this one. Then I'll write select roll number. These are the columns. Let's say select any four. Like on display any four. You can select the roll number, the name, the age, and the cost from students from the student table and when I run it it will show age age Sharika I mean name Sharika roll number one age 12 mcom you can see that the address is missing So that's it about the third question and the fourth question let's say we should add one more column to it. Okay, we should add one more column to it. So um I don't want to repeat, I don't want to type everything again. So what I will do, I will edit this section. I will edit this section. So from editing this section, I think the best thing is to type everything again. So type everything again. Yeah. Because I want you to understand it, so I will just have to type everything again. Number 
In the first case, you can see that the roll number. Yeah, I went back to the first, to the second question whereby I said we should display everything. Like, so the roll number, the name, the age, and the cost with the address are present. Then, uh, in the second question, only the roll number, only the roll number, the age. And the address are present in this section. So we'll move up to the next question whereby they said we should add one more column. So add one. Uh, so to add one more column to your table, you need to use the alter table keyword. So to use the alter table keyword, you use it like this: alter. The table student add then you can add anything you want so I would like to add color color like favorite color and all add color and I'll give you the data type of bacha and I can give it the length of 12 I can add anything I want, but this is the syntax, this is the way you have to declare it. Alter table, then you put the table name, then add, then the column name you want to put, then the data type. So when you put it this way, uh, and you run, the compiler will tell you that the table has been altered then I want to insert I want to insert data into the table so I'll copy this ones then I'll paste it then after the address I'll put a comma and I can put any color blue black brown gray Then when I run this program, they will tell me that error has been inserted. Now I can use the select display everything from student. So yeah, you can see that the colors have been added. So Sharika, age, cost, MCA, I mean, uh, MCOM, sorry, address, Bangalore, color blue. The same thing goes with the others. And they said we should remove one column. So I'll remove the address. I've decided to remove the address so to remove the address it's almost the same thing as remove as adding 
a column to remove a column is almost the same thing as adding a column i'm sorry so i use alter table also to alter table student then put drop column you can put drop then you write the name of the column you want to remove i can put address So if drop doesn't work, you can put drop column. This software, there are different SQL softwares and, and most of them have different keywords. But this particular software from Oracle says if you want to remove any column, you use drop column. But you, the drop column is the universal uh, keyword to remove. A column so you can put drop column alter table table name drop column uh, column name then when I run the program it should tell me that the table has been altered make sure you get table altered whenever make sure you read the console to see what <coughs> what has happened if the table was altered or not so now I would like to display the table to see what has happened and from students you can see that now Now the address is no more present. From this side, the address is no more present. You can see that it's right. Sharika, Mcom, Blue. The address is no more present. So the same thing applies to. Wait. You can remove any. Oh God! I hope you understand. This is my first time. I mean, I've repeated this video about ten times. My head is hurting. I keep on doing uh, vocabulary mistakes, but I hope I was clear this time. Okay, let me move on to the next video. Stop.